so we should get to 299 Robert. while we're live. And then you guys can... <laughs> Let's try you again. Robert, Robert, you're live with Eric and Jamie. How are you doing? Hey, you are uh, watching your show. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, Robert. Hey, Rob. Long time no see, man. Uh, I didn't say I was enjoying it. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's okay. You Still are one of my no favorites. Weren't yeah. you the guy who said that uh, the pyramids were the original uh, place of the Garden of Eden? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll add to that. I also said that the uh, Tower of Babel was uh, actually pre uh, the fall of the Garden of Eden also. It was just taken by God and put into the Bible out of context on purpose. That is... Uh, out of context on purpose by whom? Right. By God the writer, through the scribes that he gave the message to. Oh, Robert, well, so, I've been gone for three weeks. I missed you. <laughs> so, so what <laughs> I, I will say I is... I saw the show last week. All right, cool. Thank you for watching. I hope that you uh, hit the like and that you're subscribed. Um, pound that like button. Do it. What I will say, Robert, is um, how familiar are you with the process that it took to come to what we now call the Bible, the modern Bible, right? Like the process of its construction. Uh, I'm aware that it was originally oral history. Okay. Oral history. Do you, uh, do you mean the Old Testament or are you? Yes, the Old Testament. Okay. So do you, are you aware that other cultures have used oral history to talk about their own creation myths? Would you say that those are true as well? Um, I'm not familiar as, as familiar with the other cultures as I am with the uh, Hebrew and uh, Christianity culture. Well, you're, how familiar you're aware are you that, with the uh, culture of... I mean, you're, you're aware that Native Americans existed and still exist and, and their their culture and their, their well... Um, Yes, uh, right, I'm and, part and that they have American. okay, awesome, and you realize that those aren't those, those original myths that they told each other, those oral traditions, uh, were not Christian, right? Uh, yes, they were based on spirituality. I know. Okay, I know so would you say that their myths are true? Um, there is basis to their myths. Yes, there are. God, God, the God of heaven um, has his hand in everything. All okay, myths, so so knowledge. you're saying all myths are true. Uh, not incomplete, no. They're not completely true. No, no. Okay, how do you tell what is true from what is not true? Oh, shit, we hit 300. Hold on a second. <laughs> no, I, no, no. 350, I take this shirt off. Go so, on. So, sorry, Robert, we're okay. doing a, a shameless plug for likes. Um, uh, what I will say is... It's much of an open-ended question. So, they so all, here's... It all, tie, all the religions basically tie into one fundamentally. So, so I, here's... I, I, I think you may not be sufficiently familiar with some of the diversity that exists in these religions. Um, so, uh, when uh, you say that calm, all yeah. religions tie into each other fundamentally, do you mean that they are all inspired by uh, the Heavenly Father that, that you believe exists? Uh, yes, the one, the okay. Heavenly so Father. Okay, so you've looked at the myth, the, the theologies of the world and you've decided they are all created by the one that I've chosen. Uh, yes, I do. So why would you assume that this particular theology is 100% accurate um, and uh, the others are was, not? All right, basically because when the Garden of Eden fell, that was God's chosen people because they were the last two. Okay. So, I mean, His again, but that's... them was but, eternal. Robert, Robert, yeah. but that's according to the legend that you believe, right? If you chose, it, like, for example, if another person looked at all of the theologies of the world and went, you know what, um, uh, Hinduism is the, the correct foundation of this, they would have a similar explanation for why Hinduism was the choice over Christianity. What is the reason that you have chosen to use for example, the myths of the Garden of Eden and the Tower of Babel over, for example, the writings in the Vedic texts? Uh, I think I just told... Uh, the physical, manifest physical manifestations that uh, God used in that region as okay. his promises to the Israelites. Okay, so right. hold on. So there's a lot of cool shit that, you know, people who have studied and, and meditated things, meditated for a long period of time, have been able to do in India. And are still doing today. Right. Would that be evidence that, that Hinduism and that their religion is correct and that yours is not? What you're saying is they can do something that I can't. 
Well, no, I'm saying they do cool stuff based on meditating and whatever and defining their will, um, uh, and they attribute it to their religion. Is that evidence that their theological claims are true? I'm giving them some credence. That's correct. I'm giving them why? some credence for what yeah, they have. Why? Because God gave everybody something in the end days. Okay, so everybody let's let's no let's bring this to your door, yeah, right? Yeah, let's yeah, bring yeah. this directly. Um, I'm holding the Book of Eric. <laughs> the Book of Eric says that I am God and that I created the universe. Do you believe my book? No. Oh. Why? Why? Because <laughs> I exist. You can point to me and you can talk to me. Have you spoken to anyone else's God? Uh, I've read other writings. No, oh, so, but if you read my book, will you believe it? Uh, no, not really, Eric. Why? You're, uh, because you're, first of all, you don't believe any in any power higher than yourself. Well, I, I, I mean, Wait, the God you yeah. believe in doesn't believe in a higher power than himself. Uh, because he's I'm the stopping point. God. There's nothing above love. Eric loves me. I love all of you. Well, that's nice to know. <laughs> 350, this too. shirt's coming off. So here's the question. Why don't you believe that I'm your God? Because the thing is, the reason it's important is because if you take everything as true, right? If you take everybody's uh, religious phenomena as true, um, sure. you come up with a point where, number one, you're going to get cognitive dissonance. Uh, people are just going to, you're going to have stories that can't both be true at the same time. Right? Um, so you're going to have to, at some point, pick 450 and the pants come off. Um, <laughs> so here's the deal. I better finish this show quickly. <laughs> well, I've, I've, so, I'll jump in. Uh, yeah, at, at some point, you're going to come across that cognitive dissonance. You're going to have to pick one over the other. So, at, uh, you know, you're talking about the power, the Tower of Babel. You're talking about Eden. Like these are true things when, in fact, you have to show evidence for it. Now, in the end, the question here is, Robert, do you care about whether it's true or not, or do you just like the stories? I live the stories. I know. Do, do, you care, you, do, you, do you care about truth? All the time. Truth is the answer. Okay. Right. So how, what are you doing to vet your sources? What are you doing to make sure that it's true? Because... Here's the test. Here is the first test for you is if you don't believe that my book is true, but you believe other people's books are true, then you've got to come up with a, you're going to have to figure out how to tell the difference between them. Okay. Uh, have you, uh, are there any miracles in your, in your life that would show that you have any affiliation with a higher power? Oh, no, no. I am the higher power. Actually, my miracles are in the book. I, I make prophecies that come true. Um, I'm actually as old as the universe. In my book, it says that thousands of people saw me fly, raise the dead. Um, I mean, really, I did some awesome stuff. It's in my book. I would read it in that case. That, you your, would read your it? Questions are too open, your questions are too open-ended. I've seen miracles. Uh, people walk that have never walked before, and those are modern-day miracles. So, so, so hold on. Miracles would pretty much have to be proved by uh, if I write, three different sources. If I write a cool enough book, we're going to stick a pin in that one. If I write a cool enough book, you'll believe it? Uh, no, you'd have to have witnesses. Okay, why the, where are the contemporary witnesses for the Bible? Uh, the four gospels are the witnesses. Okay, no, it's in my book as well. You can't point to the book to prove the book, right? I could point I to point Harry to Potter the... and say Diagon Alley in the book is proof that the, the universe of Harry Potter exists. That doesn't make any sense. The world is flat. Do you believe that? In Harry Potter? No, today people are saying that the world is flat. Do you believe that? That's no. a really nice dodge. I'd love to talk about that, but let's get back to the point. You're using the book to prove itself true. That makes zero sense. None. Now, historical data that backs the Bible. Show me. How about how about how about uh, we yeah, use actually, that? It's pretty so, much it's pretty so, much in the archives in the, in uh, the Middle East. It isn't. But the Romans the, documented uh, their own data. If, if, so, so calling that data is 
an insult to that concept. Uh, these things are not true. But additionally, saying that the Gospels are witnesses would suggest that you believe that the Gospel accounts are eyewitness accounts of things that happened. Yes. Okay. Do you have any good reason to believe that those are reliable eyewitness accounts? Uh, the spread of Christianity and present-day miracles. Yes, I do. There are, at the present moment, there are more Muslims on earth than there are Christians, and we know a fuck ton about the Prophet Muhammad's life and a fuck ton about all of the children that he fucked. Why would you not believe that theology over the one that you do? Um, I will tell you why God let Muslim become... Okay, I'd like to so let him before you get there, uh, what I've heard you say is that, oh, like, you like believe that the Gospels are eyewitness accounts, right? Yes. Okay. And remind me one more time why you believe that they're reliable, that those, that the things that are written in, you know, any copy of the Bible you can buy at a half price books right now are an accurate representation of what presumably four individuals saw. Uh the spread of Christianity, the spread of growth, okay. happiness, prosperity. So it sounds all. like what you're saying is because people believed them, they must be true. Is that an accurate representation of what you just said? Quite frankly, it's all around. Love is everywhere and everybody knows it. Yeah, but that's not everybody, an answer. That's all, not an answer to what I just asked yeah, you. What I just asked knows you was there were teachings, people followed them, and therefore that's true. It sounds exactly like that's the initial point that you're making. It may not be the only reason that you're coming to this conclusion, but it sounds like a reason you're giving for why you believe in the God of the Bible. Uh, what can I say? God communicates with me personally. so Really? I, uh, okay. Do you hear voices often, Robert? Uh, as far as psychological testing goes, no, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so do you think that some people hear voices and not others? How can they tell the difference between an angel and and a, a, a condition, right? A medical condition. Yes, unfortunately, I mean, nowadays. Yeah, it, it, the, the reason we're going off on so many tangents is because instead of answering the questions or saying, I don't know, you're coming up with more and then we're going off down rabbit holes. Yeah. Right? Uh, the the, the like core to- of this is how do you get to determine what is true from what is not true? You said a whole bunch of biblical stuff. I know, I think I saw... Eric, uh, Eric, I think I saw Matt's eye pop out of his head when he heard you talking about the Tower of Babel. Uh, because, holy crap, that's not even in its own mythology in that, that order. But that's fine, because I don't believe that either. Right? So here's your homework. Right? You can call back to the show when you can tell the difference between my book and yours. A way that I can use and I can test. Can you do that? You know, when I grew up, I was known not to do my homework. You know, when I grew up, my mom told me if everybody jumped off a cliff, would you? Right? And that's a good That's a good thing to say if you're hanging out with a bunch of people that might be jumping off a cliff. So. Agreed, which is why you should not use the reasoning, everybody so, else believes it, it spread, therefore it yeah, must be true. Actually, I'm sorry, the best thing to say is, well, what would be the actual consequences if you jumped off that cliff? Whether there are other people jumping off that cliff or not, it's either a good decision or a bad decision for you to jump off that cliff. And the thing that we are proposing is that if you want to determine whether or not you jump off the cliff, of randomly believing something based on faith, you should determine whether or not there's any good reason to do that. And let me tell you, you're going to land and be flat on your back without a good reason, based First on what you're saying. You're assuming that I was raised in a religious home. I'm not. I do not know I was raised in the world. I'm, I'm not assuming you are raised in a religious home. Well, that was the statement you made. I know for a fact that you were raised in religious homes and turned away. We're at the complete opposite ends of the spectrum here. So it's interesting that you call those two sort of binary definitions a spectrum. I don't think that's um, related to what I was trying to say. In fact, I know it's not at all related to what I was trying to say. I'm sorry that if you heard that assumption, I have no idea how you were raised, where you were raised, when you were raised, or how old you are. But absolutely none of that relates to whether or not well, hey, a bunch of people believe this, a bunch of people believed this, and now those people are happy, therefore this is true. 
I do not think that is good reasoning. And I can tell you why I do not think that is a reliable path to come to a true belief. Because that exact same path has been used by millions of people to come to completely contradictory beliefs. If I have a method that I'm trying to use to determine whether or not a proposition is true or not, and that same exact method can be used on the same proposition and come to completely contradictory conclusions, I conclude this method is not reliable because it does not produce reliable results. And I would advise that you do the same. The question was secular sexuality and what it comes, how it pertains to the kingdom and above. Here's uh, Robert. Robert. Yeah. Uh, We actually spent 15 minutes before you got to secular sexuality. I really want to hear it. I really want to hear what you have to say. But your key to entrance is being able to tell me how to tell the difference between my book and yours. All right. Okay? Very good. Yeah. All right. Can, can we count on your call again uh, uh, next week? I will try. It depends how much information I have to uh, read to see where we are in, in, in a week from now. Oh, my beautiful butterfly. And I also, hope no offense, it's a nice invitation. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I hope that you do. And additionally, I, I'm not sure whether you're aware that the ACA produces show Secular Sexuality mug to be seen in the foreground in the center. Um, and they take calls. A lot of your shows that take calls. Yep. Mm-hmm. You spend your lifetime taking calls. <laughs> so if I'm could, I'm happy you? to do that because here's the deal: we're we're trying our best, and we want to be there for people. Yeah. Um, but Robert, I yeah, look forward to hearing from you again. I, Take I really care. hope you call in again. We're j- the only reason we're dropping you is because we're out of time. Yeah, that is fine. You have a good week. Take you care, too, brother.